It is usually Russian hackers accused of posing that of a uh, cyber threat in the current international climate. Whether it's reading Barack Obama's emails or attacking Sony, they are to blame. But according to a new revelation from Edward Snowden, the British and U.S. spy agencies themselves have been snooping on data stored by Russia's largest cyber security firm. Artie's Harry Fear has this story. Well, the U.K. and the U.S.'s surveillance efforts are far-reaching, we all know. But according to this top-secret document from 2008, made public only now, the British agency, GCHQ, has, some experts say, reached a new ethical low. It's been subverting antivirus software. And one security firm particularly repeatedly targeted for intrusion, Moscow-based software firm Kaspersky Lab, which has hundreds of millions of users worldwide. And the secret documents made public only now say Kaspersky's leading antivirus software continued to pose a challenge to GCHQ's computer network exploitation program. GCHQ had to hack it so they could continue global surveillance undetected. The strategy to avoid detection then has apparently been hack the makers of security software to ensure you're one step ahead of their abilities, left free then to snoop on the world's computers. But the US has also been up to the same game, apparently targeting two dozen antivirus software companies too, according to these latest leaks published by The Intercept. Now, Kaspersky has a holding in the UK, and so to target the firm in this way, GCHQ had to make a request like this one that we now see uh, for a warrant from the UK's Home Office to make this kind of intrusion and targeting. Now, GCHQ has told RT that they can't comment on this specific case, but they say their surveillance is legal and proportionate. They added in their statement that its interception regime is entirely compatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. Meanwhile, there are now also speculations that GCHQ and the NSA might have in fact been using antivirus software itself to sneak their snooping programs onto our systems. No irony spared then, as of course these software programs are set up to protect our security and privacy, not spoon feed our information to the snoopers. Well, the uh, released document suggests GCHQ named Kaspersky a key target. It goes as far as to say the company poses a challenge because of its ability to detect government spying activity. And there is a long list of state-sponsored malware unearthed by Kaspersky. Let's uh, show you some of the viruses here on... ...the most sophisticated cyber weapon known at the time. February 2015, it revealed the activity of an NSA-linked computer espionage group infecting networks in over 40 countries. And just a couple of weeks ago, the company itself fell prey to the Dooku virus, which had been used to spy on Iran's nuclear talks. That program linked to Israel. Well, we asked uh, Eugene Kaspersky why he thinks Dooku 2 is state-sponsored. We, as a software company, we can estimate the... Uh, investment into the software project. That's a software project. Uh, um, how much did they invest to uh, develop it, to test, and uh, to support it? Uh, that's why I think it's uh, at least 10 million US dollars, or maybe more, maybe much more. The company said it's actually appalled that spy agencies focus on software which is designed to keep users like you or me safe. A former British MI5 agent and whistleblower Annie Mashon told us companies like Kaspersky inadvertently offer a real opportunity for government snoopers. It appears from what we've seen through the disclosures that um, if you target antivirus software, you get into the, the, the core of the computer and you get better access. This is the sort of software that is designed to protect banks, to protect our financial interests. Um, it's designed to protect our health records, things like that. For the spies to be going after a company like this is um, rather strange. One of my senses is this is a, site, a revenge attack against this company because they have exposed some other very nasty state-level spying um, viruses that have been released out into the wild.